bought this about a year ago off one of the Facebook selling pages um, didn't really look around it that well when I bought it uh, but I paid 90 quid for it and when I picked it up we just stuck some new wheels on it sorted the uh, electrics out so the lights worked well, when I say sorted I mean lodged them a little bit so they'll need looking at properly at some point fitted a spare to the front and fitted a jockey wheel we're going to have a look at changing this to a a cheap camper trailer um, so I think one of the things we'll have to do is move the spare wheel section the inside after we've cleaned it and find somewhere to put a battery, the gas bottle, that kind of stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look. And we do have a little assistant. So we'll uh, see how we get on. During this build we're not going to get too hung up on cosmetics at the minute. So I think a bit further down the line I want to change the wood panel in. It definitely needs a new floor. Got a bit of a patch in it at the minute where uh, I was carrying an axle and the uh, that went through the floor. So we're not going to get too worried about that. What I'll do, I'll get the basic design together, make everything fit and then we can take it to bits and put uh, some new wood on there. We also need to have a look at the wood guards as they're loose on both sides. But first job, we'll get uh, the wheel moved. Spare wheel off. It's a very manky spare wheel, but I'm not too concerned because hopefully in the future I'm going to look at putting some bigger wheels on um, so it tows a bit better behind the uh, behind the chimney. Uh, that might involve changing the axle. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll uh, we'll look at that another time. And, uh, at the minute, we'll get this relocated. That's job number one sorted. What we do need to have a look at though, now it's on the side and it can be caught, is we'll cut these down so they're inside the wheel so they don't, uh, they don't stick out and catch on anything. 
this is everything that we want to try and get in the trailer. We're going to have a small ledger battery. That's the same as what we've got um, as a ledger battery in the chimney. The solar charger, the fridge. I've got a gas bottle that we're going to try and find a home for because at a later date we're going to look at buying a a dual ring hob uh, that will work off that rather than off the canisters water supply we're going to try and pump it and we'll also need power supply for the fridge and anything else the challenge we're going to have with this is I also want to try and keep the trailer usable so when we're not camping we can kind of take everything out uh, and just use it as a general general haulage trailer so we'll uh, we'll have a look see how we get on uh, maybe at a later date we'll go for a full proper camp setup but not just now right, had a little scavenge around the wood pile found the bits that we're going to need for the back plate and a couple of stoppers so we'll look at getting them uh, cut to size yeah that should do nice and steady we still got it in reverse through. We clicked it, that's it. Set and put down a little bit as we go, not too much. Speed it up. Speed it up a bit more. Steady to start with. Now I'm pushing into it. No, 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 no. All you can do is round the head off. Oh. Right, watch. Make sure it's sitting properly. Yeah. And nice and steady. Yeah. That should stop the fridge from sliding sideways against the feet. And the gap is there just for the uh, wheel to sit into. We're going to use a bit of pipe lagging um, to secure the fridge and the uh, water carrier when everything's put together. So we're just measuring up now to see where where things need to go. So now we've worked out the gap. We'll. Uh, get the first upright button in place. I'm making the divider out of bits of flooring. Obviously if you're doing this properly use uh, something like marine ply, something like that, but this is what I've got to hand so this is what we're using. Just putting some battens in place just to uh, keep the bits of flooring together. One on each edge, and we'll put one in the middle. As usual, if you know what you're doing, you'll make a, a better job than this, but no time to just learn as I go. And see what happens.
Now to just work out how to stop them from moving about. Sewing machines out of action. So time for some man sewing. Now we've got the curtain made, we just need to relocate where they're going to connect to. Right, we've relocated the brackets. So the cover's looking a little bit better. We do have some excess material, so all we're going to do is fold it round to neaten it off and just tie wrap it in place just need to get the other corner done bit of waterproofing spray although some bits might be more waterproof than others at this rate how wide does the box need to be? it needs to be about 52 centimetres 52 and how deep? No, not how high, how deep. Thirty-five. Right, we'll have a look at that then. Right, we'll have a look at the solar charger bought off eBay. This is supposed to be a 30 watt charger. I would be surprised if it is. Have the charge controller. Connectors. and solar panel. Solar panel itself does have a couple of USB ports. So we'll uh, connect it up to the uh, multimeter and we'll see what it's doing. One thing that has just been noticed is we have the clips to connect directly to a battery on the solar panel. The other wire has a cigarette fitment to it. However, we need bare wires for the charge controller. So we're going to have to cut that off. Bought a cheap solar kit and it seems to be working. Um, originally our battery was on 12.7 and is now on 12.9. The original idea for the uh, water pump I've decided it wasn't going to be uh, powerful enough so I've treated myself to a cheap eBay kit. This will run from the water supply and put that to a tap and obviously from the tap 
we can then use a little uh, water sprayer if we need it. Going for a test fire of the water system, we've got a little bit in the uh, container. We're just going to use power from the car for now. turns out to be the filter on the end of the pipe floats which isn't a lot of use so we need to find some way of securing that near the bottom <laughs> Connected the little washer attachment that came with it. Not the most powerful, but uh, should be handy for cleaning the car. 